right, people, welcome back. More daily duels. So, today is Thursday, and that means that we are using Burning Abyss. It's super early in the morning right now. It is uh, 5 o'clock in the morning, but <laughs> video still needs to get done. Uh, oh, my God. So, Burning Abyss has uh, fell down a deck. Interesting, to say the least. Uh, you know, they, they were like deck number what? Deck number... no, 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 even last one, they were kind of like deck number three at the end, because Cleese were deck number two. But, uh, yeah, this deck apparently got passed up by Teller Knights. Uh, I guess I'll take the duel slow. Uh, I want you to die so I can go you and summon you with this. But, uh, it, you know, it's not surprising that this, this deck is, uh, slowly falling. Uh, no one of the reasons is it's, uh, it's inconsistent in comparison to the other top decks. Uh, definitely. Well, I really hope that you land on heads. Okay. No. It's just inconsistent. It really is. I like that card. It's dumb. It's risky. It can be a pot of greed, but then it can also be freaking just fucking just your opponent drawing shit, and, you know. I said, you never want your opponent to draw shit. Yeah. Okay, I have no idea what we're facing here. Whatever it is, oh, okay. Nope, I have no idea what the, all this is. Okay. Funny is just drawing up a storm. Mm. I'm thinking about playing it just to see his hand, and even if I get it wrong, I still get to see his hand. And then I have to discard a random card, though. That's the problem. Yeah, I know. I... No, it's fine. You're down on resources anyway. No, it's it's cool. It's fine, it's fine. Uh, yeah. In comparison to the top decks, this deck is inconsistent. And when you really look at it, you know what determines what it, what the top deck is. It seems like consistency is the thing. You know, the more consistent the deck is, the less you have to worry about luck as a factor in your duel. And you know, you can just pretty much make your hands, which is you know what makes uh one of the reasons what makes uh Teller Knight so good. Uh Thinking about flipping you up, summoning you, going like Virgil, Virgil, pitch you, spin that back, and then summon like the Skarm. Search to a guy next turn. I won't be getting Sir Effect, but it's okay. I did uh, kind of tweak the deck so far, it doesn't really look like it, but uh, pretty much I took out back row. You know, there's so much back row, I was running like over 20 tra I was running like 20 traps, took all that out, and put in more monsters because uh, I wouldn't even want to go into like. Oh, right, right, you're gonna be sent, so you can go ahead and summon me back to Rurik. Okay, I was like, oh, I won't get your effect. Like, oh, yeah, I will, because I sent simultaneously. All right, good. Yeah, put that back. Yes. Uh, I was, okay, you're gonna scoop it up anyway, so. Uh, pretty much, I was like, well... I won't even use Dante because I detach in my mill, you know. That's a luck factor that Burning Abyss had, so I might as well play more Burning Abyss monsters and also, you know, to special summon to see with, but opponent was bad, scooped it up. I couldn't even do any damage to you this turn, so. Anyway, let's get another dueling. Be right back. Alright, back. Yep. Let's go ahead and go first. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Special summon, normal summon, XC, Dante, Detach, Mill. Probably one because there's no reason to mill multiples. This will go ahead and summon me back. Yeep. No, because you already detached a Skarm. And then I have Fire Lake. Nope, seems like a fun idea to me. Yeah, no, it, it, I mean, look look at look at the top decks. Look at it. Knuckles, super consistent. Teller Knights, super consistent. This deck, it's a little bit of luck involved. And, you know, what you mill with Dante. Uh, it's, I'm not saying it's not a powerful deck, but just in comparison, it's just been consistent, and consistency is the key to being one of the best card, one of the best decks in the game. And uh, you know, when you look at the card like Minecraft, you can clearly see why it's so powerful because 
You know, the more consistent your deck is, the more often you'll search, the more often that you're probably going to get hit with a Minecraft because you're searching. So, Minecraft is a way to punish those decks that are more consistent than yours by hitting them pretty much just calling what exactly what they search. It's an interesting concept, to say the least. So that. So that. Alright, ahead. Oh. <sighs> Sorry, I'm so tired. Literally, it was like 5 o'clock. Wake up. I have to record. <laughs> no, I have to record before I head off to college. Sorry. Because uh, pretty much I gotta tell you guys. So, as you can clearly see by the title Elven Scar Part 2. Yeah, I know. You're probably like, whoa, Part 2? I didn't know there was gonna be a Part 2. Yeah, part two. Alright, that's fine. It's fine. That sucks. I don't understand what you're planning. Neither one of them can get on my defense, so. Really? I ain't gonna really go out to the auction, really. I wouldn't choose such a background. No, it's fun. Six seven hundred. I don't get the what that was. Wow, they set like nothing. Oh, I could go into Farfa. Uh, summon the Harfa, Exceed the Dante, Detach, Mill, Mill, Banish that, Tack for like 5,000 damage, like half your life points right there. Maybe even more. Let's do it, let's do it. Anyway, uh, let me go ahead and tell you a story about Mom's car, part 2. I know, it is a part 2. So, my car was getting fixed. Uh, pretty much, as of late, my car's was uh sometimes it wouldn't turn on and uh it was kind of lose power it's kind of like oh yeah i don't really want to try as a car anymore like okay car that was a terrible no i need to spark up that's fine you can move out my way no that's another thing with burning abyss is that you know besides uh the big uh three you know graf sir and scum the rest of them aren't even that good in comparison also a terrible mill once again. See, look, see, look at look at look how uh, a luck factor this is. Who's the strongest out of you? They're all the same attack. I'm thinking about just summoning uh, Farf. Like defense mode, I guess. No. I'll summon you. The rest of them aren't that good in comparison. You know, Farfa is meh. You know, Cow Cab is meh. Alich is meh. You know, you really only need like one rubric, especially if you're playing Crane Crane. Two! Two! Ah, oh, sorry. But, uh, anyway, let me finish the story. Uh, so I was like, okay, something wrong with my car needs to be fixed. So, uh, my mechanic came over. Uh, Tuesday, and I uh, was like, oh, it's the alternator. So, you know, he purchased the alternator, so it was like 130 and then labor cost was like $65, and uh, he just went to work. So he like, disconnected the battery and uh, took out the alternator, but it, for some reason, it was just so damn fucking windy, like, super fucking windy, that he, uh, Ended up just saying, you know what, I'll come back tomorrow and fix it. And, you know, to with the else scenario, he unplugged my battery, so I couldn't even drive my car. Like, my car was just unmovable, just dead. It's like, okay, that's fine. So, usually I, I would go and donate on Wednesdays, but, you know, where am I going to go? My car dead, you know? So the only other... Oh my god, I feel sick now. <laughs> the only other functional car was, um, of course, my roommate Melvin's car. And, uh, he's at work at the time that I usually go. I leave, usually leave about 5 o'clock in the morning. I know, so, look up at 5 o'clock in the morning, donate, wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning, record, wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning, donate, wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning to record. 
uh, you know, lately I've just been kind of falling behind in videos. More my fault, more my fault. It's not like anybody's fault, like, oh, you know, except for that missing episode of I'm in Y. Uh, yeah, th that was late. That that was totally my fault. Just because DM was down. But I'll explain that in the video. Uh, and that episode of I'm in Y. Uh, but, I might fire like your ass. Yeah, I could fire like your ass. Hit that piece of back row. Yeah, I don't want to kill you. And then, whatever I get back at Dante, summon that XC into another Dante, detach the far from mill, then banish that again and hit you directly again. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. Yeah, me too. That's it. So, you go ahead and return to me. It really doesn't matter, but. Yeah, it really doesn't matter. Yeah, I got this duel in the bag. That's it, that's all I'm gonna do next turn. I summon a burning abyss. XC with uh with Farfa to make uh, another Dante detach. Uh detach it, banish it, and then bam this game. And that is what happens when you rely on other people to kill your shit because you can't do it. Like, which is a pretty obvious right now. Really apparent. Like, hey, I have a uh, Yaksha, but you can't guess what I'm gonna do. You know, maybe you should have went the more defensive route and, like, set it. You know, had the surprise factor. Because right now, obvious plays are obvious. You can get the fuck out of my face again and then poke you for 25 in this game. So, let me just beat Fire Kings not even dealing with any Fire Kings, really. Alright, we can get another duel in. Bear back. Alright, back. So, uh, I didn't go donate because, uh, you know, I didn't have a car at the current time. So, went ahead and texted Fonzo. And right now, Renny can't go and, uh, Mike is too lazy to wake up. That, which I thought. But, uh, pretty much text Fonzo like, hey, I won't be able to, you know, go, because, uh, I will be, uh, my car's, my car's not working, so, maybe, uh, later, and he's like, oh, okay. So, Melvin came home about around 11, 12 in the afternoon, and, uh, he was like, hey, you know, why don't you go ahead and go donate? He's like, you know what, why not, you know, I'm not doing anything, maybe I can go chill with friends. I don't even know what I want to do right now. That's the interesting thing right now. I don't even know what I want to do. I didn't open up that wealth. Lots of monsters, not a lot of plays. Uh, summon you. Summon you. I like, see you to detach and yeah. Guess I'll just open up the usual play. No, I want to try summon you. <sighs> Supposed to summon you. I'm gonna summon you. Let's see you two. You can beat your fat. I'm only gonna mill one, because there's really no point in doing too much first turn. I'm gonna mill a crane crane, okay. And you go ahead and actually summon me Rubik. Yeah, summon me my one Rubik, because I have crane crane. If I need burning abyss, I have dark eruption, so. There we go. So, uh, Melvin's car, he's like, go ahead and use my car. I was like, okay, hop in the car, beep, beep, and, uh, and vroom, and that little, that little bitty car. <laughs> uh, I was just thinking right before I left, my mom was like, oh, yeah, go upstairs and grab the key. Here, here, we made a copy of Melvin's key, so now I have a copy of Melvin's key from my car. But while she was there, she didn't make a copy for my door key for anybody, like her, her, I'm, so I'm the only one that has a copy. The, the, the key to ignition and the key to the door for my car are different. Interestingly enough, so, uh, so if, you know, to, if you don't have the key to the door, it's fine, because, you know, my car's electric, so you can just go beep, beep, and it'll ch open the doors, electronic, electrically, and you can just, you know, start the car up with, you know, with the key, the ignition key, but, uh, <laughs> the funny thing is, is that while I was donating, uh, they needed to get access to the car, but the battery is unplugged, <laughs> So, for some reason, uh, the previous day, Melvin left the trunk open. 
So that pretty much allowed him to, uh, well, allowed my mechanic to open the trunk, reconnect the battery, which allowed, you know, the electricity back in the car to month kind of unlock it electric. What the fuck is this? So, I just ask why you can you can flip this car face up and get attack in, in a better place. Once this car is facing the your opponent cannot attack, cannot change the battle position while you can show face up and the Okay, I guess. That kind of hurts. To say the least. Oh, you would have been useful last turn. I guess I'll just press my luck. So you negate my attack. And I can't change my battle position. It means that I never attacked. You know, this card, once this card is face up on the field, monsters your opponent control cannot change their battle position while you control face up ninja. That, I'm probably not even killed this Hanzo, that's an interesting thing. So I can either press my luck and mill multiple with Dante and try to go after him. But right now, he can't even get over me without, you know, overextending play. What do I have in my graveyard? I have, uh, Graf. And how strong is Graf? Like a thousand? Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and dock corruption him back. Because I have Divine Wrath, so I can go ahead and, you know, put that back. I mean, I got bait dulled. Like, I didn't even, you know, comment on that. Because it's just like, okay. Yeah, I got bait dulled, so I'm not even sure if my opponent is that good. But hey, if he's gonna keep on hitting me, don't want to destroy my background hitting me with that big doll, I mean, I don't even know what to say. So, yep, uh, just hopped in the little beep beep and uh, drove down, picked up Bonzo. Uh, I thought Mike didn't want to go because he didn't wake up to go Monday, and I was like, okay, well, really, what's the point of, you know, of going, uh, you know, Wednesday, if you didn't go Monday. He didn't even wake up Monday, he's like, I don't know. But apparently he did, you know, we called and when he got no answer, apparently he was standing there waiting at like 5.30 in the morning and like, oh, well, we didn't go because my car was wrecked. He's like, oh, I didn't know that. You know, like, oops, well, I didn't even know if you were going or not. He said, without running, waking him up. Okay, he's using some interesting ninja cards. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of ninjas. It's, it's like a super big back row deck. No, I said neither one of them can get over my shit, so I don't even know what you're playing. Mm. Oh, I'm not in a hurry to do anything. And you're gonna have to work a little bit harder than these two grand masters to get over my field right now so you know if you want to go ahead and use this and banish my Dante yeah yes it'll come back and I'll get Skarm effect what was this to do okay I guess like I said you're using weird ninja cards after these cards I haven't even seen before so Okay, I guess. Yeah, Champion Ninja. It's also some Dark more of okay. That's what you want to do. Okay. That's fine. But now you don't have any ninjas on the field. Yeah, so, you know, those cards that you searched for, not even that useful because you don't have any ninjas on the field. So, what are you summoning? No idea what you're summoning. A dragon, dinosaur, sea serpent type monster. Oh, okay. That's the plan. Wow, and you're not even gonna come after me. That's fucking gay. <laughs> That's fucking gay. I like that you're gonna come and get some. Alright, I'll summon you. You summon you. Gun to Virgil. Virgil pitch you. Spin back you. And, uh, um. Ah. <sighs> anyway. I want to go donate in them little beep beep car. 
that thing is just like super safe and you know, nothing compared to my car, I must, I must say. That's fine, I don't even care. Not because I'm going to defense mode since I'm going to get dark some more anyway. But actually, you know what, next turn I'll probably fire like your ass. Yeah, I'll probably fire like your ass, but I won't get rubric effect though. I mean Virgil effect. I'm coming up again. Pitch you, pitch you, spin you. I hate when they pull up the menu. Like, I want to click on the monsters in the field, and it's like, hey, let me pull up this menu. Like, no, 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 no. I hate when you do that. <laughs> uh, uh, really? You know what? You know who I want to summon? I want to summon Sir. Yeah. Sir. Not sure if you know this, Sir. Right, I can't set any cards because it darks more, so I can't even hit you with the freaking uh, Divine Wrath. That sucks. Eh, oh well. I'm still sitting okay. I, mean, I can't even hit you with the freaking Fire Lake because I can't set it. Uh, go ahead. Not about it. I was like, I can't set my card. Like, oh, right, Dark Summer. I always make simple little, like, what the hell. Like, instead of actually sitting down and thinking about what the fuck's going on, I always just blame it on freaking Dead Pro just being wrong. Like, oh, what the fuck? They fucked it up. This is dumb. Like, no, 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 no. It's probably right. You just need to pay more closer attention, Daniel. Like, what can I set this? Like, all right, you. You. <sighs> so I'm assuming he's going to go ahead and kill my... Uh, Virgil, I mean, he should. If he doesn't, then that's dumb. But if he kills my Virgil, then he kills my Sir, and then my Sir will eventually summon back my Virgil, and then I can use the effect to wreck you again, so. So, uh, I'm still sitting okay in this duel. Things aren't terrible for me. Uh, do I still have the Sakam run here? Yeah, I do. Alright, come at me, bro. Wow, you're so fucking bad. You're so fucking bad. Can't swing, I'm too scared. You should be, you should have, you should have, you should have swung. You should have fucking swung. Put that away. It's the back. Now you have no ninja monsters on the field. Which leaves you open for some direct beating. Some direct fucking juicy ass beating. I was just dumb. I was like, really? Um, I'm actually kind of shocked about that. Uh, I mean, the scarm. Go to another Dante. Just getting all that juicy damage. Dante, detach sir. No me three, go for twenty-five. Three. Sir. Summon sir, sure. Graph. Yeah, sure. Meld all my graphs. They're all in the graveyard now. Graph. Your effect. Two, three. Cow cab, that bounces a set card. Cow cab, put that back in your hand. Turn you to attack. Turn you to attack. These are just your ninja cards, so you're just gonna take a huge chunk out of your life points. Pow, 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 pow. And now I can set the fire lake, hit you with the fire lake, and then that's pretty much it. So. That's what happens when you get scared. Like, you should have risked it. You should have risked the play because you have a fucking Virgil sitting right here. So Virgil's gonna fuck you up unless you kill him next time, which... Apparently you didn't want to do that. And it's her guy. So, uh, went down, donated. In the afternoon, line's like super long, but we weren't there. We were there for like maybe two hours. Uh, you know, hit up Rennie and... Like, hey, you know, if you wanna chill. I haven't seen Rennie in like a cool minute. That is fine. Actually, you know what? I should have just hit you with the fire lake. I should have just hit you with the fire lake right then and there. Uh, 
Wow, did not see that coming. Not at all, not at all. Yeah, I'm gonna fire like you. Get out of here. Get out of here. You may fire like, I can use that again later. You're gonna summon a burning beast monster in my deck? I'll go ahead and summon a... Uh, sir, and then that's it. Sir. Sir? Sir? This is it. That's it. GG. Fucking... Did anybody see this coming? Him sending multiple traps and summoning you fucking Uriah? I did not see that coming. Not at all, not at all. So, uh, call up mom and I'm like, oh, how's the card going? She's like, oh, yeah, it's going fine. I was like, oh, it's like, oh, I'm like, oh, is it cool if I go ahead and take Melvin's car and uh, go chill with Runny and friends? And she's like, oh, well, you know, Melvin has to go to work at like 9.30 tonight. So, uh, you know, unless he takes your car, I'm like, you know, like, yeah, sure. Melvin, go ahead, take my car. And, you know, I'll take your car to college on uh, Thursday. So, uh, and now I have Melvin's car, Melvin has my car, and apparently my car is nice and fixed and happy. It's a fixed alternator. I still need one more part, but I forgot what the, what the mechanic called it, but yeah, I need one more part, but that's not even bad or nearly as hard, difficult to fix, so he's looking for that part, and we'll fix that, and the car should be okay again. But right now, it's still, this. it's better. It's much better, so that's, I'm happy with that. So I uh, ended up just chilling with Renny and them till like 11, played Monster Hunter a lot. Talk a friend Billy about Yugi Mons and uh, just chill, just chill all day. And also, I literally wasn't even home to record that episode of Iron Man, let alone it be DM being down. But anyway, I still hope that you guys enjoyed this video. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow using them powerful 3.5 Axis Fire Fist. Cause God, that plus is plus is just so hard. Plus is so hard. Alright people, thanks for watching.